Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see 10 best cloud storage apps for your mobile devices and computers. You can store your photos, videos, documents, or any other data that you like to back up to a secure cloud storage account. And all these applications that we are going to see today offers free cloud storage space. When you upgrade to their paid tariff, they'll provide some extra features. We will see each one of them in this episode. I'll also share my personal experience side by side. And the very important thing is it's a lengthy video. So I have provided the timeline in the description also pinned it in the first comment you can quickly navigate between you know jump to any specific application to know the details by using the timeline the first one is Microsoft OneDrive they offer 5 GB of free storage when you create a Microsoft OneDrive account with them and you can access just that 5 GB space for storing any of your data if you're using Windows computer then this will definitely be useful the next one is $20 per year for 100 GB which I personally think you know kind of very reasonable priced by Microsoft and this definitely should be the choice if you are planning to go for some bigger storage within OneDrive. The next one is $70 per year but it adds more value. You get one terabyte space at the same time you get complete access to a licensed version of Microsoft Office 365. You can access, you can store all the data synchronized with your OneDrive account for Outlook, MS Office, MS Word, Excel, PowerPoint, everything. So if you have that requirement, it is definitely a worthy option. The next one which makes it more value for money is if you have a plan to share it with your family members or with your friends, you know, that is one of the best option where you have to pay $100 per year. You can, of course, divide it by six, split it with your friends and you will get six terabyte of total space and you get full access to the Office 365 applications for six individual computers. Each user can store one terabyte of data at the same time. Each user can install Office applications in five computers or Mac computers. That is a crazy one. I think this is definitely a more value for money if you have the requirement of Microsoft Office application. The next one is Zoho Docs. This is kind of, you know, an Indian specific service. If you're watching uh, this video from India, then absolutely you will find this Zoho Docs a very useful one. By default, when you create the Zoho Docs account, you get 5 GB per user account. The maximum file size limit for each file is 1 GB. Paid tariff, which is the standard plan comes at 240 rupees per month per user. You get 100 GB of space. Also, you get 5 GB file upload limit. Each file that you're planning to upload can be at the size of 5 GB. If you accidentally modified any file, then you can get that uh, previous versions uh, you know, from the Zoho Docs backup. So that is very useful. And for 384 per month, one terabyte space will be given to you and you can upload with each file size uh, of uh, up to 25 GB. That is quite huge. They, of course, provide several web integration services and password protected directories. And you can, of course, do a custom branding if you're running a company, a small firm or something. And for one TB user account, they provide unlimited recovery option also. So if you accidentally deleted any file within 30 days or some you know, limited time will be given. So within that day, you can recover the files as well. So that is quite attractive. And the next service that we are going to see is Dropbox. This is quite a popular one. Most of us know about Dropbox and the only saddest part is the free storage they provide is only 2 GB. I think the main reason for such low storage is their high quality service. So far, they are very secure and the quality of service they provide is you also get quick support and your data is safe and seamless sync between several devices. So for 2 GB, you get one user, you know, individual user can access the 2 GB space and you can access from any devices. That is absolutely no problem. When you're planning to upgrade to their paid tariff, $12 a month is the one where you get 2 terabyte from 2 GB to 2 terabyte. That is a huge jump where you have to pay $12 a month for the plus plan and for family account, the same 2 terabyte, but you will be paying $20. So that is a, you know, kind of a huge difference over there. Even with the free version, they do offer the file recovery and version history. If you modify any file, if you delete any file accidentally, you can still recover it from the cloud storage recycle bin type of thing. So that recovery service is available and with paid accounts, you get 30 day history management like you within 30 days you can recover those data and uh, the file revisions also you know maintained for 30 days that is kind of a one huge advantage for Dropbox if you have the requirement of using more documents and you want to maintain the revisions and everything you know synchronized to the cloud and shared it with the team so then you may consider the Dropbox the next one is Digo cloud storage a Sweden based company started in 2012 they mentioned in website but I've been hearing about this cloud storage service in the past two years and they are offering 100 GB of free cloud storage 
with advertisement supported right now they are of course running some promotions where you get extra 5 gb uh, space if you are planning to sign up right now on 17th february i'm recording this video so of course ads supported for the data that you store when you try to view them uh, the synchronize happens but there are several negative you know kind of feedbacks uh, about the digo that uh, the customers are you know losing their data uh, the free storage has a huge catch where uh, within 90 days if you are not accessing your account then they may delete the data so that is kind of a crazy terms and conditions I have come across because people come to cloud storage for protecting their data if you have some limited window and if you are saying that they, you will be deleting the data then it makes no sense I believe their 10 terabyte plan offers no such conditions you know for hundred dollars you get uh, per year hundred dollars is what they say you get 10 terabyte cloud space uh, but for limited time they are of course running lifetime offer where for the same hundred dollars you can get a lifetime of 10 terabyte cloud storage their apps and design everything looks minimal but I kind of thinking that it needs some more improvements with their terms and conditions even for the free plan even if it is a 10 GB space that doesn't matter but the data safety and security should be guaranteed that's what the user expects that only then they'll be upgrading to their premium plan having two or three tires will of course definitely be useful another one important complaints that some users uh, you know mentioned in the websites the reviews that I have read across is while uploading the files users are noticing some slow low speed issues at times so that is kind of a negative about digo cloud storage service and as you can see the app provides a minimal interface similar to the files app that you can find within the iphone or you know any other cloud storage application and one more important tip is like if you are using any cloud storage application uh, for uploading or downloading files make sure you keep the window open because when you minimize the upload of file download could be corrupted the file could be corrupted uh, as the ios system doesn't allow the full network access for any applications in the background once it's minimized within few minutes you know within a minute mostly it will automatically be limited so make sure you are aware of that I have mentioned it as 90 days but looks like only 50 days time is there for free accounts the next application is one of my favorite mega application the cloud storage service they offer 20 GB of free storage and this mega application may have a huge history that some of you may aware of from mega upload you know they have renamed it to mega and uh, for the past five to six years they are running this service you know uh, quite good they have this applications and web services like audio calls video conferencing the video chats and everything you know for multi-platform support with multi-platform support they also provide encrypted chat facility and you can create a network if you are planning to uh, discuss and communicate within your team or your company people you know you can use their uh, network feature you can create it and you can uh, manage the audio calls video calls and everything you can synchronize your photos videos and everything to this uh, mega cloud storage their tariff looks like this for free account you get 20 gb of space when you go for paid uh, that is where you get more uh, kind of you know uh, premium features but i believe like if you only if you have the requirement you have to consider upgrading uh, to their uh, individual uh, premium plan the basic pro light plan costs you 5.68 dollars per month and you get 400 gb of space so whether it is worth or not it depends on your requirement how much data that you're going to store and whether you will be using their uh, audio calls video call services or not you have to decide accordingly and they also provide auto backup feature and file versioning for documents you know if you edit and if you want to roll back to the previous changes you can of course do the file versioning and if you want to go back to the previous versions of files or documents it doesn't matter the file versioning will be definitely useful it, these features you know comes up to their 16 terabyte of storage age plans so it doesn't matter whether you are in the pro light or in the pro 3 plan so it doesn't matter the next plan comes at 11.37 dollars 2 terabyte space is what you get and you get all these features you can share the data privately you can secure them with the password you, you have the private team uh, messaging feature and uh, video conferencing feature the next one is terabox you get one terabyte of free storage this is where you know i kind of uh, had to mention uh, something that i actually feel when these cloud storage services offer plenty of uh, storage for free even though the advertisement support is there it's just two questions i have in my mind is number one what about 
about the data privacy, whether these data will be the photos, documents and everything that I upload will be used for any data research or any artificial intelligence, you know, kind of data mining purposes. The second one is what if the company shut down or disappear without prior announcement? It, you know, rarely happens, but most of the companies give us a prior notice to take our data back. They give some limited window if you are planning to shut down their operation and for funding, you know, reasons or if they are unable to maintain it for some reasons. Uh, so in such scenarios, they always provide us a limited window to get our data back like 60 days or 90 days uh, when they're planning to shut down the, those companies. So when these uh, companies, you know, Terabox, I aware of like only for the past one year, I'm hearing about this name. So uh, when I hear all these applications, you know, giving so many GBs and terabyte of space, this is the question I have in my mind. So what do you think about it? Do share it in the comments below whether these applications are that much, you know, trustworthy or not. And when it comes to Terabox, free user gets one terabyte space with certain catch, of course. You can upload, uh, you know, up to 500 files maximum and uh, the videos that you upload will be 720p, cannot be in HD, in full HD. And the maximum file size is 4 GB and it is ad supported. The next premium tier is 50,000 files. You can upload up to 50,000 files, full HD supported and no ads will be there. And the next service is P Cloud. One of the popular for the past four to five Five years I've been hearing about uh, P Cloud. Uh, mostly around Black Friday or Cyber Monday time, they run such promotions. You know, uh, it goes kind of viral uh, in tech world. So they kind of you know bring the lifetime plans. You know, they always have the lifetime plans, uh, but during that time it gets more cheaper. So if you're planning to buy P Cloud for you know long term usage, if you're planning to buy some cloud storage for long term usage, then you may have to wait for the uh, 2022 Black Friday uh, time. So there app interface everything looks uh, pretty you know uh, good it kind of minimal design and you can access everything easily their premium plan is where we have to look for like uh, by default when you create your account with pcloud you get 10 gb of free space if you want to upgrade the next tier is premium 500 gb flat 500 gb storage and 30 days uh, recovery option is also there for that, they, they are charging $49.99, around $50. And when you are going for premium plus 2 terabyte plan per year, you have to renew this, $100 will be the charge. You get the same features in both uh, tariff. There is no much change when it comes to features. But when you are planning for lifetime, for one-time payment, $175, for $350, 2 terabyte permanent to your account. The next one is another Indian specific cloud storage service launched recently. It's called called Digibox. These guys are kind of a startup and uh, I think they have a long way to go because right now they don't have, uh, you know, well fine-tuned applications even for the uh, Android device. Uh, they have an application for only for Android and they don't yet have the application for iPhones and iPads. But right now it is a web-based access service. Uh, if you are planning to use it with your iPhone, iPad or Mac computer, you can access it directly from your uh, web browser. When you create an account with them, uh, you get 20 20 GB of free space and the features like uh, 2 GB of maximum file size the each file that you can upload should be maximum of 2 GB the next one is individual plan if you're planning to go for uh, you know paid plan just for 30 rupees you know in dollars it's like just 40 cents for you know you get 2 terabyte of space and uh, 10 GB per file you can upload once again just like what I mentioned in the Terra box when these cloud storage services offer you know so cheaper options with plenty of storage in GB or TB, the, those two questions you know immediately come to my mind. What about the data privacy and whether you will be in the market for a long time or you will shut down and disappear without any notice? So we have to wait and see how uh, this guys and I personally wish to be very successful because in India there are no much cloud storage service options available. I think uh, this is uh, this will definitely be revolutionary if these guys get successful. And the next service is Box Cloud Storage. You get free 10 GB of space when you create an account with them and they do offer you know quite some decent amount of services uh, similar to the Dropbox is what I remember from their application their interface everything and these people are in the market for quite long time almost for more than eight years I believe that box is in the uh, field uh, when it comes to cloud storage service their free plan gives you 10 GB of space with each file 
the maximum file size that you can upload is 250 MB per file. And when you, when you upgrade to the personal pro plan, you have to pay $14 and you get 100 GB of storage with each file size can go up to 5 GB. Of course, they do offer file revisions where the maximum of 10 file versions can be maintained. If it is deleted or modified, you can still recover from the previous versions uh, of the files that you normally store. This is the monthly tariff. When you go for annual tariff, you do get 25% discount. That is quite attractive. For $10 a month, you get 100 GB of storage, 5 GB file upload and 10 file versions. Those, this is kind of interesting if you are planning to depend on the box cloud storage service. And their business starter plan also, you know, reduced from $7 per user per month to, you know, $5. That is suitable if you are in a team environment and you are planning to, you know, create a team to share and collaborate and work together. The next application we are going to see is another Indian specific cloud storage service. One from one of the famous, you know, internet service provider, GeoCloud. They offer 5 GB of free storage when you create an account with, and Geo is one of the popular mobile uh, carrier in India. Recently, I come to know that uh, Geo also have the GeoCloud feature where you can store your data, you can share and collaborate with your friends uh, with simple sharing tools and options. You can also, you know, perform scan, you can store all those data within your GeoCloud. But, you know, they right now offer only 5 GB and I personally, feel that geo cloud is kind of you know right now in a marketing uh, mode where uh, they don't have any paid tariffs or any paid storage options available for users who want to update their plans directly you have to refer and earn 10 gb uh, for you know extra 10 gb for you and if you someone uses your referral code they will be getting 10 gb cloud storage space so this is kind of a marketing approach i believe maybe in future geo cloud will bring some premium plans but right now it is an approach to let more users opt for the GeoCloud application. So, and I personally believe that uh, you can keep GeoCloud as your last option and you may consider the other applications that we have seen so far to store your photos, videos, documents and any other backups that you want to store. And I hope you have found your cloud storage application to store your photos, videos and data. Do let me know in the comment section which one you prefer to go. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more useful tips and tricks related to iPhone, iPad and Mac computers. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.